What's up everybody, my name is Bobby and today I'm going to be giving you guys kind of like a last minute real quick uh, gift guide idea for you. So I've been posting kind of some of my favorite gadgets that I've gotten in the mail over the last couple of months. And in this video I just kind of want to run through a couple of options that you should be able to order and get in time for Christmas depending on you know whenever you see this video. But other than that, they just kind of make great gift ideas, or at least the things that I would be personally stoked to get as a gift. So I'm gonna just jump right into it and we can take a look at some of the things that I think might be a good choice as far as like a gift for this year. So starting off, I think a MagSafe battery. For anybody who owns an iPhone, I think this is one of my favorite and top choices as far as something you could grab for them. There's a ton of different options on the market. I've tried out a bunch of them and I like certain ones better for certain reasons, but essentially these are all just batteries for your phone. If your phone's battery is running low, you can take one of these guys and it will magnetically attach to the back of any iPhone 12 or newer and allow you to charge up your phone passively without having a cable kind of hanging around. Um, as far as the options that you know I've tested, there's the Mophie backup battery, and then there's the Zero Generation 1 and Zero Generation 2. There's the Apple branded MagSafe battery, and then there's this one from a company called Banks. Um, as far as like my personal favorites, I would say the one that's like safest for the longevity for your phone is probably the Apple one. It won't heat up in your pocket. As far as one that charges a little bit faster and also has a pretty big capacity, I really like the Zero version two. I like the texture and the feel of the Mophie. The Banks is pretty good too. Um, not bad at all it's got this really nice texture to it and it's pretty thin as well honestly i'll link all these down in the description below uh, but as in my opinion you can get one of these batteries for pretty cheap i think you know they range anywhere from like 40 bucks to you know 100 i would say anybody who owns an iphone this is one of these things that you'll get someone and they'll you know thank you for months and months down the road just because it's one of those things that just comes really clutch over time now, on the topic of batteries, there's the MagSafe battery which will connect to the phone wirelessly, but sometimes you wanna charge your phone a little bit faster, or you wanna charge other devices, or just kinda of have some more functionality with it. And this brand, Inu, I believe that's how you say it, honestly makes one of the best bang for your buck backup batteries that I've ever experienced in my life. So, not only is this a 10,000 milliamp battery, so it's much larger than any of those MagSafe options, but it comes with two regular USB ports along with a USB-C port that you use to actually charge the battery itself. And you can do USB-C out. So if you wanna fast charge your iPhone, you can plug in like a USB-C to lightning cable and it'll charge your device up really quickly. And you have these extra ports if you wanna do multiple devices at the same time. It also has a really neat kind of like little animation. I don't really know what to call that, but the LED light indicator is actually this little paw print right down there. And the toes light up depending on how much battery it has. So when all the toes are lit up, it's gonna be full battery. And as it goes down, you know, it'll deplete like so. But not only does it come with that, it comes with this really cool carrying case, if you will. So I was able to kind of throw all that stuff in the actual little pouch along with the lightning cable and kind of have one sleek compact package. It comes with a USB to USB-C cable, no power brick, but it comes with the cable as far as like charging the actual battery up. And this is probably one of the more unique things that I've seen a battery come with, but you actually get this little USB flashlight. So if you plug this guy in to the bottom here, and then you go ahead and turn it on, it's almost like a flashlight or like a reading light. So if you're in the car and you're trying to read something, or if you're just you know an avid reader, this is kind of a neat little extra bonus that you know I haven't seen any other battery come with. And this battery is super affordable too. I think it's like in the $20 range and it's on Amazon and would ship to you super quickly. So as far as like a sleek but good capacity and fully functional battery, I think this is a really, really good option. So I'll definitely leave the link to this guy down in the description below. Now circling back to MagSafe, I think another really good option as far as like a little something to get someone who has an iPhone 12 or newer 
would be one of these MagSafe wallets. Now, granted, these are not for everyone, but they make like a really good stocking stuffer, in my opinion, because they're like, you know, around 40, 50 bucks, depending on when you get them. They fit about three cards in it, and it just adds a layer of convenience as far as snapping it to the back of your phone. And then, you know, how many people do you know that shove like a credit card or something in the back of their phone case or, you know, have one of those phone cases that are a little bit bulkier because it has like a little slot for cards, something along those lines. I really like the Apple one because, you know, you can have it on your device when you want to use it. You can take it off when you don't want to use it anymore and just in general it's very convenient i definitely don't use it every day but my number one use case for it is when i am like at the airport or if i'm going to the gym and i just want to have like a few cards with me um, like in my id and have quick access to it this thing makes a really really sweet addition the newer generation of them also have find my built into it as well so that's a cool little thing um you know as far as making sure if it pops off or if it falls off or something like that you at least have a starting point of where to look for it but yeah in general i think this would make like a really sweet stocking stuffer for anybody who has a iphone 12 or newer now keeping to the apple theme one thing that I think you can't go wrong with is an Apple Watch band, especially if you want to get someone like a little bit nicer one. The little rubber sports band that comes with Apple Watches is like a $50 band. And it's not the best quality, but one thing that, you know, I've seen people really, really like is if you want to spend like around a hundred bucks, you can get them a Melanese loop. So this band is from Apple. It's like their mesh kind of magnetic loop band. This thing is super, super comfortable really easy to adjust it adds like this feel of luxury to your apple watch that a lot of people really enjoy and it's kind of in that it's kind of in that price point where sometimes people wouldn't want to buy it for themselves but if they got it as a gift they would absolutely love it so i think this is a really really safe bet and it comes in three different colors as well depending on which apple watch you have so not a bad choice the band that I'm wearing right here is their link bracelet. This one is significantly more expensive and it does scratch up quite a bit. I'm not going to lie. I didn't, when I did my initial review of it, I hadn't had it long enough to where, you know, I didn't notice the scratches at that point, but after having used it for a couple months, it definitely scratches up. You can buff that out and clean it out along with like the stainless steel on the Apple watch itself. Um, so I'm probably going to make a video showing how to do that. This is definitely the best Apple Watch band though that I've ever tried. Um, I'm a huge, huge fan of it. So if you want to splurge and spend the 350, this one is a really great option. But as far as like my second choice, the $100 bracelet from Apple is a really, really good option as well. Now, not only are there some great options as far as Apple Watch bands, uh, but there's these kind of like hybrid band in case options as well so like it's something like this where your apple watch actually pops into this center protective unit and it gives you like a really protective outer shell and kind of like a more premium look to it it actually looks more like like a real actual watch if that makes sense and there's honestly like a lot of different options too these are made by a company called amban so i'll link these down below as well and these are definitely cheaper and give you that same kind of look this is another good option as well. This one's not quite as high quality as the one I just showed you. This is like a shockproof one from Amazon. I'll leave the link to this one as well. It's a little bit cheaper, but it gives you that same kind of look. And there's other things you can get too. Like these are like protective outer shells for the Apple Watch as well. So these kind of sit over the top and act as like a screen shield. So these are another really cool little stocking stuffer, if you will, for someone. Maybe you got them an Apple Watch and you're looking for some extra little things to kind of tie in with, with that gift. Um, or maybe they recently got one. Just another cool little thing you can add to it. And then also the same company who made this last watch band that I showed you, they actually sent me these like scrunchy style watch bands that my girlfriend has been... Oh, wow. She's actually my fiance. This is the first time. I just proposed last weekend, so it's kind of new to me. But uh, yeah, my fiance has these like scrunchy kind of uh, watch band styles that she wears and she really, really likes them. Um, so that is another good option if you're looking to get something for like a girl that she'll think is cute or something along those lines. So definitely another good possibility. 
Honestly, I don't think you can go wrong with like Apple Watch accessories, especially for someone who's into this kind of stuff. Now, one of the best possible gifts in my opinion, if the person doesn't already own a pair, would be the AirPod Pros. So these are Apple's kind of top of the line in-ear headphones. They have noise cancellation, transparency mode, so you can hear your surroundings really well without, you know, compromising the audio quality. They have great battery life. The new version actually has a MagSafe charging case. So if you want to toss it on a magnetic charger, it'll align perfectly and make sure it's charged up properly without you know misaligning the coils. You can actually find these on sale quite often. I know the new AirPod 3s recently came out, but those don't have noise cancellation and they're not as good at audio quality. And I think with these on sale, these are normally 250, but I got them for like 170 on sale. These things are one of my most used items that I own. I highly, highly recommend them. Now, another thing I don't think you can go wrong with, and this is kind of like hits, you know, two birds with one stone in my opinion. I'm a big fan of high quality leather goods and I'm a big fan of iPhone cases. So this one by Nomad, the rugged case, or now it is known as the modern case. This case in particular is phenomenal and I highly recommend it um, as far as like a really good leather case that'll age well over time. So this is kind of what it looks like new and this is what the, as time goes by it'll age and start to get a patina and kind of you know adapt to the way you've used your phone and so it's, it's a really neat you know quality of high quality leather goods so this is kind of another example that they show on the box like day one and day 100. I highly recommend Nomad Goods they make some really good stuff I'll leave a link to this down in the description below as well. This has to be probably one of the most used items that I've gotten that I didn't think I would love as much as I do. So this would be the Theragun Mini. This guy is normally around 200 bucks, but I think you can get it on sale here and there depending on when you pick it up. But it's a, multi it's a portable massage gun essentially. And you know, if you do any sort of, if you have any sort of like muscle soreness or like, you know, pain anywhere on your body, this guy will essentially massage out that pain and it really, really makes a huge difference. I can't even begin. It's one of these things where you would like, before you've used one, the thought of spending $200 on it is pretty insane. And like, it was hard for me to justify at first, but as soon as you get it, you realize how much more you would pay for it, if that makes sense. it's such a useful thing anybody I've gotten one of these for has absolutely loved it and uses it all the time and I think the mini is kind of right in the sweet spot where you know most people don't need the super big one with the different tips for different you know muscles and there's there's a lot more that you get with the really big one but for the price point what you get for this it's pretty phenomenal I highly recommend it I'll leave a link down below now, another thing that I highly recommend, especially for like a dad or I don't know, someone who you know who rocks this kind of wallet, but a high quality leather wallet, I think you can't go wrong with. So like a lot of people when they buy wallets, they get the crappiest one at, you know, Marshalls or something like that, like a $20 wallet that rips and falls apart on them over time, where for a just a little bit more money you can actually get like a full grain or a top grain leather wallet that feels amazing smells amazing really well built will age well over time there's like a whole myriad of reasons you know why these things will last this is kind of like a bifold design and there's you know this one's like got a fish on it for you know I, my dad likes to fish a lot so that's kind of why i picked this guy up i was going to give this to him and he uses the bifold style which is kind of the old school wallet vibe if you will if you have a bunch of different cards so like for that style i would say you know you can snag either of these the links will be down in the description below these guys are you know full grain leather and they smell amazing they'll age well over time and they'll be much more durable for kind of a newer style wallet this one right here would be is by a company called open sea leather i've had this guy for like a year now and the really kind of unique thing about it is how this guy opens up so when you pop the fold up like this it actually has spots for your cards here, spots for your cards here. I even fit a pen down in the side right here. 
and you can actually stick full bills inside of here so that when you fold it up your bill is completely flat out and depending on what it is that you keep in it you can actually store a ton of cards in this wallet which is a big part of why I like it I have like a bunch of different cards that I like to carry with me so having this really kind of makes a big difference and having like a thin front pocket wallet that's really high quality and soft leather that's gonna last you a long time and age well over time this one this is a little around a year's worth of use and it's really starting to patina well and it looks really good and then this brand right here hitch and timber they actually make a bunch of different options this one right here is a cool little like kind of folding option where you can put cards here put cards here and then under either side here and you can just see how that leather has darkened already this is kind of the original color that it was and then it's darkened really nicely and aged really well. This one is a little thick for my liking. I don't use this one all the time just because of the thickness of it, but they have a ton of different options and this brand is really, really phenomenal. They also make a bunch of other accessories like these little pocket slips. And essentially what this is, is it's like a pocket organizer, if you will. And so if you know, you know someone that's into like everyday carry items, like you could fit a pocket knife inside here you know a little flashlight or some other tool and a pen it's just kind of like a neat little pocket organizer that keeps your items all together and safe and in a sweet little leather package that'll age well over time so he has a lot of items like this on the site and a bunch of you know wallets and kind of you know card carriers if you will so i definitely recommend checking him out his website's a little hard to order something on though to be honest i think it's like only open during business hours so if you go to the site at night you're not gonna get in essentially and he only takes a certain amount of orders per day so i'll leave a link down below if you want if you click on it or go to that website during the day there's a good chance that you'll be able to place an order but i would uh check them out especially on their instagram as well where you can at least see all the products if, if their store is not open at the time of you checking them out okay now the last thing i want to show off is this gan pd charging mate um, which is essentially just a four port charger now i don't know how exciting of a gift this is but it's definitely something very useful. So maybe as a stocking stuffer, just if you wanna hook someone up, if they're always using your charger or something along the lines of that. Uh, this is, I believe, a 65 watt. Yep, 65 watt charger. Has two USB ports, two USB-C ports, a nice small little profile, and it comes with one of these. So it's like a, a wall plug with like a polarized I think that's polarized maybe it's unpolarized I can't remember I always get them mixed up but a little power cable so that that way you don't have to have a big heavy brick sitting in the side of the wall but this thing is pretty sweet um, and I will definitely be taking it during my holiday travels to kind of consolidate all the different bricks that I use but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you found anything you were interested in and want to pick up, you can definitely use my links down in the description below. And if you do, it does support the channel and doesn't cost you anything extra. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe because we got a bunch more stuff coming in the new year. But until then, I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.